So hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to work on this lens. It is a Minolta Rocor 58mm 1.2. Great lens. Bokeh monster. Super good for low light photography. And then overall a very good lens. Okay, and then this lens was sent to me from quite far away from the United States. It is the first time I get a lens from so far away for repair. And then first thing uh, diaphragm was oily was actually blocked because the helicoid grease separated so you got all the oil into the diaphragm and then here on the helicoid itself you get only the soap and then at some point that will produce a very stiff focusing and then that was issue one that was issue two and then here as you can see on the optics we have this I don't really know what it is I hope there is no separation uh, normally I check the optical recipe of the lens that you can see here also on the corner and then normally the first element is not a doublet so there is maybe not separation there and then there is also a bit of haze on the corner on the rim of the second glass at least from what i can see here so we are going to try and fix that so the lens owner will have it good for a lot, another 20 or 30 years okay so this lens is quite tricky to open so Please follow the instructions uh, I will provide precisely, otherwise you will get in trouble easily. So first thing I did was to do some marking, so I put this marking here and then I cut it with tape since I will be working with the lens a few times and then with grease and oil and so on. So, so the marks go away, so I put tape and then put the marks, this seems to work well. And then this is just for indicating the infinity. I recommend you to do that and then to open the lens. It is simple. You see that I have marked some screws with blue. And then those are the screws that you need to remove. Obviously yours are not marked in blue. But then if you unscrew and then you find a long screw, those are the screws to remove. The next one, for example, here is going to be an extremely short screw, as you can see. No, you can barely see it actually. Okay, once you find the long screw, you remove one screw over two. Then we remove the bayonet here, and then here we need to be a bit careful because we are going to remove the aperture ring and then here oh, then. that was not intended you need to pay attention because there is a very small bow which is the one making the clicking sound and then sometimes it sticks sometimes it goes away but then it is extremely small so pay attention not to lose it okay and then here we have reached this state and then there are four screws and then at this point it is important that you have made all your markings because once we're going to remove these four screws and then the part here will be leaving the helicoid free but then it is the only way we have to be able to reach the front element which is a bit uh, yeah, a bit cumbersome I would say but is the way it is okay so and take this element here and then with it 
and take out this key here that goes in to this slot and then it is the one responsible for not allowing the helicoid to move uh, like that and then just making sure that it goes up and down okay so so far so good now we have all our markings that we want to keep and then what I need to do here is to rotate the helicoid uh, until I have the screws here that are going to appear and then with them this part here and then with this part removed I will be finally able to unscrew the front but then before and then just to be safe what I'm going to do is to reassemble the helicoid part back And then it is somehow a bit annoying because okay, this would be about the right position. And then I will assemble this so I don't lose my reference. Otherwise, that will be really, really problematic. So, I assemble this intentionally. Like that, there is no risk. I will lose my positioning and then I think otherwise that I lose a screw, but then no. Okay, like that, I am safe. And then here I just need to pull this guy that I just removed, and then with some force. No, I, I made it loose already before when investigating the lens, but then the first time I had to use rubber gloves like this just to get enough grip and then be able to take out this element and then okay so we reach the point we want well not entirely we we'll still have work to do but so far so good uh, so now this is uncharted territory because I haven't opened it, this optical assembly yet but then I think there are three elements and then two groups or what, what are, there is three pieces of glass and then I saw haze on this one here that it's a doublet and then these things that I don't know what really are on the other one. So, how to disassemble this guy? So, it seems that there is some glue here. Well, I don't see any traces of glue. So, let's try with the rubber gloves. Just to put some energy there and then see if we can open this and then it opens 
rangées ici. oily and then actually the whole lens was very 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 oily in initially when I got it then the only resort is here from the front and then you have a very small rim that you need to unscrew and the rubber cones I tried don't work and then uh, the next option is the spanner and then i tried different spanners that i have well this is a compass this one is too risky this one and uh, the tips are a bit too big yeah. and then this one is okay but then i was scared of this thing slipping and then scratching the glass so this is why you see some tape okay now it's glued Whole thing together. Okay, it's unscrewing. Okay, I got the ring. And then this guy here is not coming immediately. Let's try to be a bit savage. Ah, okay. Here you go. the whole patch out because we'll be using it after to rescrew the lens and then here I see this surface and then I think that is condensating condensated oil okay I don't know if you were seeing exactly the same thing as I was Over excited about it okay so this is it and then I will take my risk and then yes it is condensated oil because I just remove it a bit with my finger and then it went away so this is great news especially for the lens owner because we'll be able to fix that and then the other thing I saw, okay, it is a bit of haze on the edges here. You can see there in the corner, there is some haze. So we're going also to clean that. Okay, that was not the easiest of rides, but then we got what we want so now we are going to proceed to clean the glass so I'm going to replace my disassembling stuff by my cleaning stuff so see you in a few seconds okay so here I am I am back for the cleaning and then I have the cleaning stuff so this is the lens cleaning fluid then I will have my tissue for the first cleaning and then a second tissue for the second cleaning and then what else I need that would be pretty much it so at least for time being I hope and then what I'm going to do since this thing is mostly oil traces I'm going to take an older cloth just to avoid polluting with oil my my more pretty clothes I would say so I try to drop the cleaning fluid from above uh, not to pollute my cleaning fluid either with oil and then here I do the first cleaning Then 
as you can see, a lot of traces of grease. So then now I feel I can put my fluid over and then I will proceed to using now leather clothes. see I just need to do some cleaning but then the traces are gone this is extremely good okay so we are near there so I will do the final pass with a newer cloth and then we can say we have clean this guy here surface is very 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 clean so this is it for the cleaning i will do the same thing on the other side with the haze but i don't need to show you the same thing twice so see you in a few seconds just to reassemble the lens okay so here i am i'm done with the cleaning and then as you can see now the lens is very 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 clean i notice however that there is a bit of separation so yes the lens are actually glued but then there is a bit of separation but that is another big job so we're not gonna do it right now and then what we need to do now is just to reassemble the lens so it will be good for making nice photographies for yeah for another long time so okay I made the choice of leaving the body like that so I was able to keep my focusing now I just need to screw these guys in position I need to be sure the lens is clean there is a bit of yellowing that you can remove simply by leaving it to a constant light for a few hours a few a lot of hours or use your lens for black and white photography and then have a natural yellow filter okay so so far so good so I just screw the block now we need to put again the housing so to do so we will need to disassemble this part again and just keep the housing for a few seconds just to be able to put and this guy in position I go to infinity so I have everything right. And then here we have the position we want to have at the end. And then right now what we just want to do is to get 
content these guys here and then we put the three little screws that hold that guy in position back to about this position we have in the beginning we'll put this part need to make sure I have the screws aligned and then I have a nice hook for doing that even though I still need to get the part completely in okay that's it then the hole is right in position I just need to tighten again screw and then one last important thing to do and then we will be done so I take the little bow I put it into the slot where she goes then I get these guys in the right position and then I come a bit tilted so I catch the ball and then I put the rest of the thing and then if I move this I do the click I heard the clicking sound so that means it's okay and then here just to get the aperture ring working as it should we unscrew this element here here and then you will notice there is a small slot and then there is small that clip here and then what we should do yeah, just to get that guy right then we screw again and then here I have these two guys which are now connected oh, I did something silly okay so let me try to get all that again without messing up oh okay this is the demo effect I got the ball Okay. Oh. okay, I was able to catch up, I was afraid I was going to need to remove the whole thing, but then I got it, I'm happy about it, and then just to finish, we put the bayonet and then our cue is to have this guy pushing this guy here the other way around so we get them to stick together then the screws 
then here you go this is how you clean a Minolta 58 1.2 and then it will be keep going for many many years to come so this is all I wanted to show today thanks for watching and see you next time eh?